bless the Lord. Well, all you servants of the Lord, oh, we stand by night. Well, in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Well, all you servants of the Lord, can we stand by night? Well, in the house of the Lord, lift up your hand in the holy place and bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. I said, bless the Lord. Well, all you servants of the Lord, we stand by night in the house of the Lord and lift up your hand the holy place and bless the Lord oh bless the Lord well bless the Lord it's so good to see you again this awesome Friday morning where the sun is shining in Tampa Florida and the joy of the Lord is big here I just want you to know it's an honor to be with you for the next few moments uh, sometimes I look back on the program and see there's quite a few of you uh, that are watching and I did offer my book to you last week. It don't cost you anything. Uh, putting the enemy under your feet. And in fact, I have one right here. I've offered it to you. And it's, it's free. Just just uh, uh, notify us on faithoutreachcenter.org. That's our website. And, tell, and, and request this book. And uh, if you need prayer, uh, let us know that you might need prayer. We'd be love to pray for you. If you have some needs, we want to lift up Jesus and help you as God can see us through. Uh, we sang that that psalm out of out of Psalms 134. Says, "Oh, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, that stand by night in the house of the Lord." Uh, David was a praiser. David wrote many of the psalms that we have in the in the book of Psalms. Actually, the word Psalms means songs. It's a song book of 150 songs that David wrote and some others, but primarily David. He was a harpist. Uh, he was a psalmist. He would write music to the Lord. And many of those those places that we find where David writes in uh, the Psalms was uh, something he wrote about an encounter that he had in battle or, or something he went through in his personal life. Uh, uh, and, and we can take those things. And he wrote a song on it. And that's what a lot of our songwriters do today. They write songs on experiences they went through or things that's going on in their life. And... As I look at some of the Psalms, I just want to uh, bless you a little bit uh, with how powerful it is. And Psalms 144 uh, says, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands uh, for battle <clears throat> and my fingers for war, uh, my loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and the one whom I take refuge. Oh, listen. I tell you what, I couldn't live a day without the Spirit of the Lord, without God being on my side. Uh, sometimes we run into things we don't have answers for. We don't know what's gonna, how it's going to work out. But that's when you cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, you're my strength and you're my shield, my buckler. Uh, Lord, you are my refuge and you're my high tower. And then yeah, I just talk to the Lord like that. And I just thank him for his goodness. And then, and then David said in Psalms 144 verse 9, on a harp of ten strings, I will praise your name. Well, you might say, well, Pastor, I can't play a harp, or I can't play a guitar uh, with six strings. I can't play a, a, a ukulele with four strings. I want, to tell, I want to tell you something. You have ten strings right here, and your ten strings can praise him with a clap offering. Your ten strings can praise him by lifting up holy hands to the Lord. Uh, give praise to the Lord, and you'll find out as you praise him and exalt him, uh, that your life is going to be better. The joy is going to be there. Uh, when turmoil is coming, the presence of the Lord will see you through. And then in Psalms 145 says, I will extol, I will extol, or I will lift you up, O my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and forever. Every day I will bless you. Every day. Uh, try this. Try taking a praise break during the day. Uh, you know, we're busy. we got a lot of things to do. We've got heavy schedules. Uh, it's hot out here. We're outside working outside. 
my brother Robert is the one that's taping for us right now. Robert has to get up on those roofs. He's he 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 works for a bank company. He has to get up on the roof and do air conditioning or fix other things. And uh, sometimes uh, I'm sure Robert's like like me, and and, and I have to find a, a a cool place or a quiet place or a shit or a place that's got some shade and just say, Lord, I'm going to praise you right now. Thank you that I have a job. Thank you, Lord, that you're so good to me. Thank you, Lord, uh, that you keep me healed and keep me well that I can continue to work. Be a praiser and give thanks to the Lord. <clears throat> and then in verse 3 of Psalms 145, it says, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is in unsearchable. You can't find the end of God's goodness and God's grace. In fact, uh, uh, Jeremiah wrote in Lamentations, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Great is his faithfulness. When we're not faithful, he's still faithful. When we're not what we need to be, you can always trust God. He changes not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. <clears throat> it's Psalms 146, and I'm just going to uh, take you through some of the psalms at the very end because every one of them talks about praising God. It says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Is there a song in your heart? Is there a praise in you that wants to just give thanks to the Lord? I know there's uh, many Christians that are listening right now. and Some of you might not be believers, but I want you to know something. God loves you just as much. And, and and when you if you would surrender your life to him, make him Lord of your life, uh, you'll find out uh, uh, that your soul will want to praise him and want to give thanks for his goodness. I will praise the Lord while I have my being. While I got breath, I'm going to praise him. While I got strength, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to lift up the name of Jesus and praise him. Praise him in the morning and praise him in the noontime and praise him when the sun goes down. Learn to be a praiser and you'll find out the glory of God will fill your heart. In Psalms 147, by the way, there's 150 Psalms in the book of Psalms. Psalms 147 says, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. Oh, wow. Get a hold of that one. And praise is beautiful. It's great when you can praise the Lord. Some people like to lift their hands and praise God like I do. Uh, some people like to... Uh, 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 dance before the Lord. Some people like to just be silent and quiet and thank Him uh, for His everlasting goodness. And uh, however the way it is that you praise God, praise Him with all your heart. Psalms 148 says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him with all the angels. Praise Him. Uh, praise Him, His His host. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all the stars and light. Uh, praise Him, uh, the heavens, to praise the Lord. See, everything God created, he created to praise him. And some way or another, all these things praise God. And I'll tell you what, I don't want to be left out. Psalms 149 says, Sing to the Lord a new song and his praises in the sanctuary of the saints. Where should we praise him? In the sanctuary. Where else? Outside the praise, outside the sanctuary. Two times that we need to praise the Lord when we feel like it and when we don't. Sometimes we don't feel like praising him. We're not in a good mood. We don't feel like praising God. That's the time you need to praise him the most. Let your inner man uh, lift up praise to the Lord. And then the last one, Psalms 150. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him, all his mighty uh, instruments. Praise him in his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lure and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flute. Praise him uh, with loud cymbals. Praise him with crashing cymbals. And let everything that has breath praise you the Lord. Well, I hope you're going to be a praiser. And I hope you know you got a good reason to praise him. Let me pray. Father, I pray for those who are listening. Bless them in a mighty way. Let your anointing flow. And let them give you praise for something today. Something, God, that will make a difference in their life. And God, you will not, and you anoint them with the goodness of God. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.